Hello and welcome back. Okay, it's been a while, but here we have the Captain Scarlet patrol car from MI. Now I got this kit in the 90s, never uh, built it or opened it, and I just put it, put it away, I forgot all about it. So, I believe these go back to the, at least the 1980s, this kit. And as you can see, it's got quite a nice box with your Captain Scarlet patrol car. And it's got some shots of the completed model, although I don't think in reality your model will look that good. And there's some artwork. So it's very colourful. I assume all this text is just saying Captain Scarlet in Japanese, and it looks very iconic. So here we have some of the other kits. So your angel interceptor flying off cloud base. Now you've got the angel interceptor and maximum security vehicle, which you've already seen in another video. And of course everyone's favourite, the SPV, which unfortunately I don't have. Although my brother had the dinky one when I was little, and I wasn't jealous. Whereas I had the SPC. Alright, shall we open it up and have a look? I just popped off to get the knife to cut the tape on the one side because I was organised. Okay, so what do you get? Okay, so we have our instructions in Japanese, but a picture is worth a thousand words, so we will be fine. You can see there it's just giving us all our colours. And our suspension, our steerable suspension. And we have a friction motor on this, so I think it's a pullback motor. We won't know that until we get it going, I think. But I think that's what it is. I don't think it's a friction car. I think it's, I think it's a pullback one. Okay, and our missiles. Our clear parts. So as you can see, it's not a particularly complicated kit. Oh, where's the clockwork? Oh, do you know what? I can't remember. There you go, it's showing a key. I honestly don't remember that. I thought it was a pullback kit. But, uh, all good fun. Okay, so that's the instructions. Let's see what we got. What we got in the box. So as you can see, the body shell is one piece of red plastic. For you. There you go, it's making everything go red now, it's driving the camera mad. So the finish of the plastic is not bad. Um, it's, a, it's a little bit soft I would say. I don't know if that's down to age or that's how it was originally made. Okay, so in the bags we have our clockwork motor, friction motor, I'm not quite sure, it's, I think maybe it is clockwork. Yeah, there's a spring. So I'll leave all that in the bag so I don't lose the bits. There you go, there's a key, so that's it then, it definitely is clockwork. So it's quite interesting, isn't it? It's something which you think would be uh, battery powered is in fact uh, clockwork. Okay, that's the springs for the missiles, I believe, and suspension parts. And we've got the main bag. And see if you can spot the fly in the ointment that's coming up in this kit that hasn't been opened for 30 years. See if you can be eagle-eyed and spot the problem. Ok, 
Okay, so let's open that bag and have a look at the bits. So we get a set of spectrum transfers, water slide transfers. Hopefully these will still work better than my autofocus. Focus, there you go. So they're nice transfers, but they're quite old, so they may not work. Even so, they're quite nice. Okay, so what else have we got? Can you see the problem? <laughs> so we've got our glazed parts. They seem to be okay. They're kind of always meant to be a little bit opaque anyway. There's a few scratches on them. So that's from probably being in the box for however long we've been rubbing up against them. Even so, it's a very iconic uh, glazing shape. So we've got another sprue of missile parts and I think the part of the suspension. Right, has anyone spotted it yet? That's right, we're missing a wheel. A bloody wheel. <laughs> and this is why this video has taken so long to make. Now the plan was for me to do a montage here of ordering stuff from the internet, stuff arriving, um, basically using resin to cast a new wheel from one of the other wheels, and then we have four wheels and then we could do the build or a model. However, when I ordered the resin, um, it took like two months, supposedly, for it to come, <laughs> and then it didn't arrive, it got lost in the post. So then I had to source it from somewhere else, which took almost as long again. So basically I got very hacked off <laughs> with the whole process of trying to get uh, the resin to cast the blooming pit part with. Um, so basically I just left this for ages and I've now got all the stuff. So um, in the next video we will have a go at building this thing after 30 years <laughs> and we'll cast the wheel. So we'll see how well that goes. Okay, see you in the next video. If you're really bored you can click like. If you're very, very boring, you can click dislike twice. And uh, see you in the next video. Okay, bye.